Yo, what up, man? Preach Christ to die. I'm talking about John MacArthur the other day. I'm talking about John MacArthur, his, uh, his health. They got a couple of different things out there. I seen a post from the Bible, Thumping Wingnut. He's a guy that he puts out a lot of John MacArthur uh, material. And he's saying how he heard from people at the church or posts that the church made that he's doing, he's resting. That he's uh, just trying to get himself back together. And they never said what was wrong, which they never really opened that up about, that much about him. But they just said that he's resting right now and that he's going to, uh, you know, take time off to uh, to see if he gets better from this. And if you listen to a sermon that he had on January 1st before all this happened... You can hear it in his voice that someone, someone, right? Like he was. I've seen older people that get like that though, man. Where they voice, they just not, they just don't have enough air or something like that. It sounds like. But then you have Seiko Woods. Seiko Woods, and everybody knows Seiko. You know, he goes hard on MacArthur for things that he see, he thinks that's wrong with MacArthur. And Seiko made a video about how. I think he might even still be on right now about how describing what's wrong with MacArthur and I can't even name or pronounce some of these words that this man was saying. It's something to do with blockages in his throat and other things that's causing it to happen. Now, where he got the information from, he's saying, I think that he, he's got it from people that is in grace to you or somehow. He got it, and he said that it's get it don't look good for him. You know that's what Seiko Wood said. Seiko Wood said it don't look good for MacArthur, that he's real sick right now, and that he thinks that MacArthur ought to step down. I don't know. It depends on if how bad it is when he does come back. But it's interesting because man, look, I love MacArthur, and I don't love MacArthur because I worship or things like that. That's silliness. I really love the Lord. I really love Jesus Christ. And I, I and we don't have that many good pastors out here, man. We just don't. Not Bible-believing pastors that take the time, that study the way MacArthur does. I mean, they have a few, but we, we're at a point right now where a lot of our great pastors are, are, are getting old. You got like an R.C. Sproles that just passed. I'm in Louisiana, so I know a pastor that I really look up to named Greg Durrell. He passed earlier this year. He wasn't that old. He was about in his 50s, I think, 50s or his 60s. But it's sad because we don't have that many at all, like especially on YouTube and on TV. It's always been like that. The most famous pastors are the worst, really, because – they're all about gimmicks and games to get attention. And God will always get his word out, though. God's not limited to MacArthur. He's not limited to nobody. I think MacArthur even said it at one point. He said how he said God buries his men and the work still goes on. And that's true. You know, one day we all will be replaced, but it's an honor to be able to talk about God, to go deliver a message, but to be a pastor, to stand up there and have that much responsibility. And not, not many men are even qualified for that. That's why we see so many men falling now because they're not qualified for that position, but here they go doing that position. But I pray MacArthur makes it through this. But one day, you know, his day will come where he will go home. And I pray that grace to you puts the right man in charge. But it's, I pray that God will bring up in some brand, some new pastors that will take Bible serious. And we have a few out here, but it's not a lot, y'all. That's why.